Hey everyone and welcome to another AI marketing tutorial. My name is Amanda Obeya. I am the top female sales trainer online and also a former content marketer. I was a content marketer for eight years before I started teaching people how to sell and I'm super excited about AI. And on this channel, we cover sales, systems, marketing and mindset, the four things you need to make money your honey. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have new videos coming out every week. And this week, super excited. This week, we're talking about Notion AI. I finally got taken off the wait list. I am a massive fan of Notion. It is like a second brain. So I'm super excited to check out the AI and I will walk you through a tutorial in real time as I'm looking at it for the first time. Before diving in, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure to download our free AI marketing resource. It is a list of tools you can use for all your marketing needs using AI tools. And also you will find all our video tutorials in one place, plus a few other tips. So I will leave the link for that in the description and you will also find it in one of the cards. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Hello, hello everyone. Great news. I finally got the email a few days ago that I have been taken off the wait list for Notion AI. If you've been following my channel for a while or my Facebook or anything, you know that I'm utterly obsessed with Notion. It's like a second brain. It's amazing. And I just got the notification. I was taken off the wait list. I think I waited about a month or so uh, before I got taken off the wait list. So let's dive right in. I, it looks like we have to enable it first. So it says, um, settings and members and then from there um find a workspace owner doo, 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 and then go to okay and then we'll have to enable it from there okay so we have to go to settings and members okay there's the members settings ai 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 doo, doo. i'm not seeing it am i going to the right oh here notion ai Whoop, okay, update. That should take care of it. As you can see, I uh, use Notion a lot. This is my main dashboard. So let's go to a new page. It should show up. Start writing with AI. Okay, okay. Brainstorm ideas. So what I'm liking about this already is that it already kind of has the, the prompts for you, which is one of my favorite things about AI. Um, so let's go into brainstorm ideas on... Notion AI <laughs> YouTube videos. Let's see what it comes up with because I want to do a series of these. Creating a YouTube channel for Notion AI can be a great way to engage with your audience. Okay, so it basically gave me uh, a script on, uh, which is not bad, on how to teach people how to create an AI YouTube channel, which is not necessarily what I asked for, but it did give me a list of ideas. So explain your videos that highlight the features and benefits, uh, tutorial videos, which is basically what I'm doing now, interviews with AI team members and partners, okay, uh, user stories, live Q and A's, uh, demo videos of Notion AI in action, which is literally what I'm doing right now, and then discussion videos about the future of AI and its potential impact on society. So it actually gave me ideas on how to basically create a whole channel about Notion AI YouTube videos. So I'm gonna try uh, Make Longer. Let's see what it's gonna give me. Okay, so it gave me uh, a longer introduction. Okay, how about continue writing? AI is writing. Oh, I just realized it made like a whole new page. Continue writing, okay. Creating a YouTube channel for Notion AI is an excellent way to engage with our audience and showcase our products. Uh, okay, this is like written by some AI market, some Notion marketing person, but it's all good. Okay. Um, user stories can demonstrate. Okay, so basically what it did is that it took the bullet points and then made it into actual paragraphs. So if you wanted a script or something, you could probably use this. Okay. Let's try some of the other features. New page. Okay. Duh, duh, duh. No, did I do this right? Hold on. Where's my templates? New page.
Hold on one minute. How did I just do that? Hold on. At a glance. New page. Okay, but it's not giving me the prompts. So let's see. Oh, type space for AI. Oh, okay, got it. Type space for AI. Ooh, okay. All right, blog post. That's kind of what I want. Um, blog post about how to use Notion AI, because that's literally what this video is going to be. Notion AI is an AI-powered task management system that helps streamline processes and improve productivity. It really does. I love Notion. Getting started with Notion AI is to create an account, of course. Um, use Notion AI to improve your work, help you and your team work more efficiently. But it didn't actually say how to use the AI like I'm using it now. So how about we continue writing? Analytics tools. Okay, but it's still not telling me how to actually use the AI. Okay, which of course AI has its limitations. So how about we try again? Close. We're gonna we're gonna try space again. Write blog post. Let's try something else. Uh, write a blog post about what am I staring at right now that I could just do something very very random about crystal healing <laughs> because I'm staring at a bunch of crystals right now. Mm, crystal healing is an ancient practice that has been used for centuries to help promote healing and balance within the body. It's based on the idea that crystals can be used to draw out negative energy, uh, align body's energy centers. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Absorb, reflect, and transform energy. There are many to choose from. It is important to understand how to use crystals correctly. Start by... Okay. All right. That's not terrible for anybody who's into it. Okay. Let's try some of the other AI stuff. Okay. Uh, da, da, new page. Now that we know there's a space, AI example, space, outline. Okay. Write outline about Notion AI features. Maybe that'll do something better. AI assists natural language processing for writing and editing, automated style checks and grammar corrections. I've heard about that. I want to try it. Search capabilities to find relevant content quickly, automated for... See, this is more what I was looking for in the other one. Automated format and style suggestions to speed up document creation. Smart text highlighting to improve readability. Automated tables of content creation. Automation, automated summarization of documents. AI-powered recommendations for relevant content. So basically, someone's going to be making videos on like all of this. I, uh, AI, YouTube. Hi, why is it not? Okay, well, YouTube, it's not doing anything. Okay. Okay. Close. AI, here we go. AI, YouTube, video examples. Clearly, I have a lot to play with when it comes to Notion AI features. So now how about I write a blog post on that. No, not going to let me do that. Okay, how about find action items? What's this? Oh, I turned it into a to-do list. Okay, which is actually kind of cool because then I can check off what I've actually tried and what video I made. Okay, so that's cool. Thank you. That was more like what I was looking for. Let's try the next one. Uh, AI sample space for AI social media post, write social media post about, let's go back to the crystal healing because I'm staring at them right now. Crystals have been used for centuries. Um, I think, wasn't that, isn't this similar to like the, um, the introduction it made on the blog post. I think I deleted the blog post, otherwise I would show you. It would be, I would be interested to know. I'll have to go back on this video and see if it's basically the identical introduction, but it kind of sounds like it is. I like that it put the, the hashtag automatically because I know in some other tools that I've used, it's like you have to do the hashtag thing separately. Um, it's, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I've, I, it's not bad at all. 
Um, but I would want to see if it's literally the exact same thing as the introduction. I would have to go back on this video. If you're watching in the comments, let me know if it was the same as the introduction. All right, let's try the next thing. AI. Ace. A press release. Oh, I'm very interested in this actually because um, I used to be a writer. I used to have a column at Inc. and I have a podcast and I get really bad press pitches all the time. So I'm very interested in this. Write press release about a new, I don't know, what, what would be something people could do? What am I staring at? I'm staring at perfumes. New, um, non no that's not the word i'm looking for new natural perfume line let's see what it comes up with introducing the new natural perfume line from company name proud to announce the launch of their new natural perfume line the line of perfumes is free of synthetic fragrances and parabens uh perfect for those who want to experience the benefits we invite you to this is not terrible okay if you guys see the horrific pitches i get for my podcast in my inbox then you would know why this is not terrible it's kind of, it's quick and to the point it's not like five pages long like some of the stuff that i get what i would prefer which is how you would have to edit this there's uh, there's no way for ai to do this i don't think but what you would have to do what i would prefer in a pitch if you guys are going to use a pitch is somehow customize it to the media outlet that you are sending it to and be like hey here's how this is going to be a benefit to your readers or your audience if you uh highlight our product so that's basically the only reason i would the only thing i would do to fix this okay let's let's play with some of the other stuff let's see ai space i'm gonna have so many pages to delete after this essay see more to-do list meeting agenda pros and oh 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 my virgo moon is happy hold on write a pros and cons list about about let's see write a pros and cons list about video marketing let's see what happens Pros, engages viewers, increased brand awareness and recognition, improved SEO. That's true. That's why I'm doing this. Easier to share and distribute across multiple channels. Also true. Allows for greater creativity and storytelling. Tr uh, cons, yes, can be time consuming and costly to produce, but not with AI anymore. Ha ha ha. Uh, necessitates a higher level of technical skill to create. Nah, AI can handle that now too. I would say that was true like two or three years ago. Uh, amount of promotion and marketing to reach the right audience can be difficult to track ROI for video campaigns. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess there's ways around that, though. Can be difficult to capture and maintain viewers' attention. Yeah, you would just have to become a better video person. I actually just got a great idea. Um, ideas for two-year-old in Miami. And the reason is because I'm going to go see my uh niece this weekend and um we're trying to figure out what to do okay meeting agenda brainstorm ideas so this is not related to marketing at all this is just related to something i got going on in my life brainstorm ideas on what to do with a two-year-old <laughs> in miami let's see what happens Miami offers a wide range of activities suitable for young children, from the beaches to the many education and cultural. Oh, snap! This is actually pretty good. Okay, visit Miami Zoo and Jungle Island, where your child can interact and learn about the animals. That's true. Miami Zoo is far, though. Uh, check out Miami Children's Museum. I've actually never been there. Uh, have a picnic at Matheson Hammock Park. That would be super cute. Uh, enjoy a day at the beach. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's that's what you do. A boat ride to one of the nearby islands to explore wildlife and scenery. A day at the Miami Sea Aquarium. Uh, Everglades. Art galleries in Wynwood. I don't know if I would take a two-year-old to Wynwood. I'm just... I don't know if I would do that notion, but... <laughs> Um, enjoy some of the best seafood at local restaurants and food. They don't care. Uh, take a guided tour. Of, they don't want historic buildings. Uh, visit the Miami Science Museum and Planetarium. That actually was super fun. That is actually really fun for kids. 
Um, so we actually, I want, I'm surprised it didn't bring up the tropical gardens. Let's see if it can make it longer. Let's see what happens. No, it didn't talk about the Fairchild Tropical Gardens. That's the only one it missed. But other than that, it actually did a pretty good job. If you're looking for something to do with a two-year-old in Miami, or if you run a blog, like uh, I know there's a great blog called Miami on the Cheap, right? If y'all want to go learn how to do things in Miami for free or cheap, uh, if you run a blog like that or something like that, then this is actually pretty great. Okay, so let's go into the next thing. All the AI blogs was me just trying to, like, set this as the basis for a blog post. All right, AI test. Uh, space for AI. Okay. Sales email. Ooh. Write a sales email about... Hmm. What are sales emails that I get all the time? Let's see. <laughs> Trying to think of something where people would have to send cold pitch. E oh, I know. Social media agency services. Let's see what it comes up with. Are you looking for a partner to help you create and manage effective social media presence? We are a social media agency that specializes in helping clients get the most out of social media efforts. Team and experienced professionals can help you create engaging content, develop a comprehensive social media strategy. Both your, you can increase your online reach and grow your business. Contact us today to learn more. Not terrible, of course. What I would do is customize it to the person that I'm sending it to and show some more receipts on ROI, but not terrible. I've seen way worse. I mean, this is a lot better than the freaking DMs I get on LinkedIn and Facebook. So not bad, not terrible. It's obviously a cold uh, sales email. So, okay. All right, let's close that. Uh, start. Why? How come sometimes when I do the new page, it shows me the starting with AI, and sometimes it doesn't? Oh well. Meeting agenda. Uh, write a meeting agenda about a uh, quarterly meeting. Let's see. Welcome and introductions. Previous quarterly meeting. Financial report. Development updates. Discussion of upcoming projects, closing remarks, and adjournment. I mean, yeah, it's pretty pretty basic for a quarterly meeting agenda. What would happen if I make it longer? Oh, now it actually tells you what to do. Oh, oh ooh, I like that. Okay, so now it would actually tell you what to do in each of these phases. Thanks. I'm actually probably going to keep that one <laughs> for when I have to do quarterly meetings. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of pages to delete when I'm done here. Okay, new page. Uh, AI test. Space for AI. Y'all are literally just watching me play with this for the first time. Recruiting email. Okay, write a recruiting email about... People are always asking me about where to find salespeople. So write a recruiting email about uh, sales position. Let's see what happens. Honestly, though, good salespeople, like, they're taken. So <laughs> they wouldn't be looking for jobs on job boards if they were good. Um, are you looking for an excited? But recruiters are reaching out to them all the time. You will be responsible. Mm -mm. This is pretty good because this is what salespeople should be doing. So one of the, my gripes on the freaking internet with online business is y'all keep hiring agencies of like out outside of agencies of closers, but like that's not real salespeople. I'm just letting y'all know right now. And outbound outside sales agency closers, like they don't actually know sales. They just know how to take orders. Plus for salespeople, it's such a special position that they pretty much need to be in the freaking Kool-Aid. And when you are in sales, this is what it is. It's cultivating, cultivating relationships with clients. It's also identifying potential sales opportunities and providing excellent customer service. Yeah, it's account management too. So this is actually great uh, because it, it is actually what a salesperson is supposed to be. So I like that. I can go up on my soapbox about that. So as a part of our team, you have a full range of training and development opportunities. I'm glad it knows that too, as well as competitive salary and benefits package. Okay. 
All right. Not bad. I happen to know a lot about sales positions, so that's why I used uh, that one in particular. AI. Let's see what else it can do. Job description. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Sales position. I don't know if I've seen, I mean, you could go to chat GPT and tell it to write a job description, but I, what I like about the notion AIs and the copy AIs more so than the chat GPTs is like, I don't have to prompt it. It just gives me templates and examples and I click a button because I'm lazy. So, <laughs> um, building relationships, responsibilities. Yes, 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 uh, yes. 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 I mean, not terrible. That's what I would want a salesperson to do. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's what I would want a salesperson to do if they were working for me. Okay, let's do AI sample space. I wonder what creative story is. Write a creative story about... Oh, God, I have to put my literature brain on. It's been so long. Write a creative story about... A neighborhood cat who goes on adventures. Let's see what it comes up with. Once upon a time, there lived a neighborhood cat who loved nothing more than going on grand adventures. Every day, the cat would venture out into the world to explore and discover new and exciting places. One day, the adventurous cat stumbled upon a lonely little mouse. The cat quickly befriended the mouse, our, our, our outside cat, who uh, recently passed, absolutely would have befriended a mouse. And the two became fast friends. Together, the cat and mouse went on many grand adventures, including visiting a nearby park, meeting a band of friendly birds, and even exploring a hidden cave. The two friends had a blast every day, but what the cat never knew was that the mouse had a secret. Every night, the mouse would fly away and come back the next morning with tales of faraway lands and exciting stories to share. The cow was amazed and inspired by the mouse's mysterious adventures and soon decided to bark on it and bark. This is actually pretty good. The cow traveled to places that it had never seen before and even managed to find its way back home. The cat and mouse continued to go on grand adventures together, sharing stories and learning new things. They became the best of friends and continued to explore the world around them. And so the neighborhood cat went on its many adventures, learning new things and making new friends along the way. This was actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay, creative writers. Notion AI may help you. AI sample. Let's see what else this thing can do. To-do list, uh, I already saw an example of a to-do list. A poem? A poem? Okay, write a poem about Cuban coffee. Coffee so sweet and strong, brewed with love all day long. The aroma fills the air, a Cuban specialty so rare. A dark elixir of the gods, a sip of this and you'll nod, a sweet and creamy, I am so posting this on Facebook, a sweet and creamy tweet, a flavor so sublime and neat, a pick-me-up to start your day, a burst of energy that won't fade away, a taste of home, a taste of pride, a taste that can't be denied. Y'all, I am posting this on Facebook. This deserves a Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> Some sort of literary award. Oh my God, I'm sending this to my mom. <laughs> This is amazing. Okay, so Notion AI is really good at poetry and creative writing, and I am here for it. <laughs> I think this is a good place to end it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to do deeper dives, I'll play around with this a bit more uh, and do deeper dives. In this video, I just kind of wanted to show you the different features. My favorite by far is the poem about... Cuban coffee. I, I have a few people to send this to that we got to go get Cuban coffee. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure to download that free resource that I mentioned in the beginning of the video and keep an eye out. We've got podcast interviews coming out, other videos. I'm live all the time. Y'all already know. Join the honey gang and get it done. Bye everybody. Until next time.